Now, for those who've been watching me for a while, you already know nine times out of 10, if I start talking about a lot of worldly stuff, that usually somewhere along the line is gonna pop up and it's gonna happen and I'm gonna post again and I'm gonna be like, I told you so. So, isn't it funny that I just posted the scripture? All right, first, let me rewind a little bit more further back. Isn't it funny that I went all the way back to the 400 the first video and I said, who are you? Then I sat down and told you who the people were. Then I gave you the DNA, the haplogroups, and the breakdown. I told you about the Semitic and the Hamitic and those that are not of. But then I also told you that this ain't no anchor. So you got to know the truth in order to be set free. In order to become reborn, rebirthed to, to a new, renewed you, characteristics, traits, and understanding of the one true God. It's not about me. This is not about what I want, what I'm trying to do. This is not a popularity contest, and this is not about, about no money. This is about an understanding of Yahweh. And the only way we're going to get to that understanding is unless you know the truth. So I don't do this out of my own understanding, but of Yahweh's understanding. So with that being said, I sat down and also told you who the people were, all right, and the delusion that the false ones fell under, down in Revelation 2.9 and 3.9. So why did I sit down and just post something? Hebrews chapter 11 Verse 11 through 16 that stated these people had already accepted the fact that they were in exile and a stranger upon this earth and the land that they were brought into, brought back into exile out of, that they did not even want that country or that land anymore because they knew with the Messiah that they had a greater land and something coming that was greater. I told you all that read it yourself so why in the heck I let this rock on from an hour after I posted that all day because I want to see if the news or if anybody online that is of the scripture and of the word of God was going to post this and let you know but nobody did so since nobody did I'm going to let you know because even though we're over here in this land we need to pay attention to our homeland of where our ancestors were and where we come from to see what's going on because the scriptures speak of these things. They speak of a, the differentiality of the Israelites in the land of Israel. So what did Netanyahu do? We got to go see Putin with this separation of nations, TPP thing that we have going on. You can only go over there but so many times and keep talking to him about Syria and how, and how you're going to bomb him. You can only shake his hands and smile and buddy up but so many times. But see, I'm going to use the characteristics in a trait to let you know one thing with a little metaphor. Let's say that you're in the hood. You got your, your people over here. Y'all doing business. It's whatever, whatever. But you don't get along with that side of town or that hood over there. All right, but your people, your boys, they don't really have no problem with them. So they go and talk to them, you know, let them know that they don't have anything to do. It's all cool. But you got beef with these people. So if your boys start shaking hands and doing all this back and forth, the first thing you're going to think is, yo, you buddying up with them and you're doing something because you guys are getting a little bit too close and you're supposed to be over here with us. And if you know anything about World War I, they had it out with Russia, got kicked out, then they buddied up with World War II, then they couldn't decide who to go on, if it was back and forth with Germany, then, and all this other stuff. If you didn't look at my other videos, I think they got a Russian compound that sits on the west side of Jerusalem, if you didn't know. And if you take your wife on a business trip to go talk about something, there's flowers, partying, all kind of lavish little things. I'm telling you right now, I don't know Putin from a can of paint, but his characteristics don't show that type of man to be too happy with you and make a comment to the news that they have a relationship and a bond that goes way back. That's letting you know. 
So it looks like there's a lot of little bit of atrocity going on between the nations. And they only report to you what they want you to see. So I'll let you make your own evaluation, understand what the scriptures state. I will sit down every living moment and let you know what the scriptures say. Iterate more on the word to bring you into a spiritual understanding of the characteristics of the one true God. Because like I said, I would like to see everybody make it into heaven. This is a grafted olive tree that bears one fruit. So you make your own assumptions. I also want to point out that Russia did intercept 20,000 of Hillary Clinton's emails, which states something about her giving away secrets and doing all this other stuff. So on the eve of all that, and then meeting up on top of this Hillary Clinton email and the hacking of uh, Putin with uh, the emails, it's all up for grabs, seriously. And at this time, like I said, with the separation of nations, it, you really, really got to pay attention to what's going on outside of the box and stop worrying about the inside.